Today we're going to cook this delicious yet super simple dish. It's called pork chops with oregano wine sauce. Okay, to start off what we need for this dish is four boneless pork chops, about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, and one green bell pepper that we're going to slice. Then we need about a half a pound of cremini mushrooms. Any mushrooms will work. I like the cremini version here. Um, we're going to slice those up as well. Now we need two cloves of garlic, one can of diced tomatoes, and also a small can of tomato sauce, and about a half a cup of white wine. I have a Pinot Grigio here. And lastly we need about two teaspoons of oregano and just some salt and cracked pepper. Okay, this fabulous dish can be served over rice, polenta, or anything that you like, but I'm going to use buttery mashed potatoes. Alright, we're going to start off by uh, Washing our pork chops real good, patting them dry with a paper towel. Give them a good seasoning of salt and pepper. We'll flip these puppies over and do the same. Then we're going to go ahead and cut our green bell pepper in half and just remove the seeds, any white pith that stands out. We want to get rid of it. And we're just going to go ahead and slice these up, nothing special. And same with the mushrooms, we're just going to give them a good chop right down, real simple. And I really like the cremini. They're basically a baby portobello mushroom, but they just have such an earthy flavor compared to the boring white button mushrooms. Now we want to give our garlic a good whack, and then carefully just mince it up real nice. Okay, now we want to get a, a pan on pretty high heat. You, you could use a nonstick skillet, but you want something with a pretty good side around it because it's going to hold a lot of ingredients. What we want to do is add our quarter cup of olive oil. I'm just going to eyeball it here. You want a pretty good amount. And we're going to let that heat up until it starts to shimmer. Okay, our oil is now hot enough. We're going to go ahead and place these pork chops in here. Let's fit about four of them in here. And we're going to cook these for a total of about 10 minutes. If they stick at first, don't fret because in this oil, when they're ready, they'll release from the bottom. I can see these are already, this one's stuck a little bit. You get a little oil underneath there. Okay, it's time to go ahead and give them a flip. Awesome, they're nice and brown. And we're going to let those go for another five minutes. Okay, so now we add our mushrooms and green bell peppers that we cut up earlier. Just kind of distribute them. Boy, this smells so good. This is so ridiculously easy, and it just comes out looking so elegant. Okay, we want to just stir these veggies up, kind of sweat them out a little bit, and they do uh, give off some liquid. I want to do this for about three or four minutes. Okay, now we want to bring our flame down just a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and add our garlic and our canned tomatoes. It's right on top there, and our tomato sauce. And we'll go ahead and stir that up real good. Get it in between all of the chops there. And we're going to let this cook like this for about three minutes. Let the tomatoes heat up. Okay, this is coming together very nice. The veggies have softened up. They're really kind of limp, but not mushy. And they're going to cook for a while anyway. At this point, what we want to do is add our half a cup of wine. I went ahead and pre-measured it. And also our pre-measured two teaspoons of oregano. We want to put that on there. That's an important ingredient. And we're just going to go ahead and stir that in. Try to even it all out here. And lastly to the sauce we want to add a pinch of salt and pepper to taste. And then we're going to go ahead and cover this and let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes on low to medium heat. This baby's been cooking for 25 minutes and it is looking beautiful. It's ready to serve up. Okay, to plate this guy up, what we want to do is get some of our hot, buttery mashed potatoes. Put a nice, healthy portion of those on the plate. Then we're going to grab a pork chop and just serve it right alongside there. 
And then what we want to do is get a ladle and spoon some of those delicious juices right on top of the potatoes. Now if you have fresh oregano leaves, I like to chop them up and just kind of hit the top of the pork chop with a little garnish. And there it is, pork chops with an oregano wine sauce. Time to dig in.